lost my life. <laughs> Threw me right off the bridge. All too rough. Happy Halloween. Out at the trail tonight. It's gonna be a spooktacular ride. I'm gonna get geared up here and uh, make sure I get all my lights working. And uh, I'll show you the beam from the helmet cam and the beam from the handlebar cam. And then we'll take off. Turn the handlebar light on and see what happens there. So there's the handlebar light. So it's a pretty good flood. And then if I turn both on, my helmet light's a little bit more yellow, but it's a pretty good light. I mean, it's lighting up most of what I need to see. And I think it'll last me uh, the duration of these trails. I'm just trying to get warmed up a little bit right now because even though it's not, it was fairly warm today, it's pretty chilly right now. So I don't want to Start off at max effort on cold muscles, so just kind of riding around trying to get the feel. I don't know how the camera's going to turn out. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. I've got one pointed at me as well, so we'll see. No idea how it's going to turn out, but uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's hit the trail and see what happens. To do some warm ups first. So you can say it's pretty bright. I'll probably talk to you guys a lot while I'm out here because, well, there's nobody else out here. <sighs> Unless we find some uh, talking deer. I do notice the, uh, the light on the helmet you kind of got to bunker your helmet down a little bit tighter than you normally do there is some weight to it obviously you can check out my previous video where i weighed it forgot how much it was but i mean probably somewhere between four and six ounces i think you can definitely tell it's on top of your helmet Versus going when uh, Sunday the time changes and we fall back, it'll be getting dark pretty soon, probably before I get home from work. So I'll definitely be doing some more night rides. I'd rather have daylight savings time all year round, but that's just me. I'm just praying right now. I don't hit one of these trees. Even when it's dark around you like this, you kind of get A little bit of tunnel vision. And there's still shadows. Shadows kind of play tricks on your eyes. Especially if you have stuff like rocks. Jutting out from the trail. It's difficult to judge depth. Figured this would be <clears throat> one of the warmer nights we get for a while. And 
and I think it's supposed to rain. Later this week, so. Get some ride in while I can. Find out if the creek is running high. As well. Don't really see too much deer on this side of the road. Cross over. <clears throat> you see a bunch. Yeah, it went out again. Ow. It's nice to have it in the light, too. Just on the other side of this road crossing. And we'll check. Right on middle brightness. Let's see what happened. Deer like to stand out here down that lush green power line cut. Oh, almost ran off in the water. All this mosquito run in the summertime down here by the creek and we have to cross jump that used to be a good jump but this washed out Riding plays with your balance a little bit, for sure. Let's see how bad this is. Not too bad. Actually, it's gotten better. I think they 
construction crew must have leveled it out. He's pretty way sketchy. You guys having a good Halloween ride? Tell me about them in the comments below. Last year, I had a pretty good one, but that was before I was running video. There's this layer of spiders. I can see shiny eyes all over the ground, the forest floor. So I was like, you know what? Let's stop and see what that is. Started digging around the spider. Thousands of them. And we got some good deer spotting as well. So I like when they see stuff like that. Alright. I didn't get too wet crossing. Usually this section out here we'll see some deer. I put the handlebar light on medium brightness and it's still going. I'm gonna try changing it back to high and see if it cuts off it by itself again. Yep, it cut off, it was on high. That's medium. Let's see what happens there. That's a six. It's overheating. Or what? Yeah, the one thing I hate doing is riding skinnies at night. These aren't really skinny skinny, but... It's just kind of weird. Keep your eyes peeled. See if you see anything. I think we're gonna make so much noise. out again since I don't know about you guys but my my cardiovascular fitness peaks in about mid-October because there's so much riding going on between May, June, July, August, September, part of October. You just, your muscle endurance is good. The guys on the left coast or in warmer climates probably don't have that problem. But, so yeah, this is my first night ride. It's a night ride season. Otherwise known as fall and winter. And we haven't even rolled back DST yet. That's next. That's this coming up weekend. fucking hurt
all my lights are waterlogged. <sighs> That'll work. So, why you always come with plan C? I think my iPhone light. Actually, I don't even need light. I can pretty much see the trail. Yeah, something grabbed my uh, my pedal and whammo bammo right over the handlebars into the ditch off the bridge. Holy bejeebus. That was funny to a degree. That's what I say at nighttime. You just don't you just can't see all the details and it can be a bit challenging. Yeah, I tweaked my bars pretty good. Everything, my levers are all off. I don't know what's going on with the frame and stuff, but we'll worry about that when we get back to the vehicle. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, but um, I just went uh, OTB in the old ditch and I realized I got back to the vehicle. I mean, everything is soaking wet. My pack is all muddy. I am totally wet and drenched. Um, I noticed that, um, <laughs> I guess it flung my glasses off uh, when I wrecked. So I need to go back down in the woods and see if I can find my glasses. Um, I don't want to lose those. If I can't find them tonight, I'll just go back tomorrow morning and uh, see if I can retrieve them. But um, I still got a little bit of uh, light on my iPhone. So I'll try to walk down there and see if I can find them with that. All right. I have got the vehicle pulled up to the edge of the trail here. I don't know how much you can actually see, but um, I had to go back to the scene of the accident <laughs> and get my glasses. I've, I found them, they were in the ditch. Um, couldn't record and shine the iPhone light at the same time because that's the only light source I have. But I did find them in a ditch and it's gonna rain. I think it's gonna rain tomorrow and they were sitting in the stream so they probably would have washed away. So I had to definitely go back and try to get those tonight before that happened. Um, so that's a positive. Um, so now I'm just gonna head back home. All right guys, just got back. I'm not, I haven't even really checked out the bike yet. All I know is none of my GoPros work. The gimbal doesn't work. Everything is soaking wet and muddy. And uh, I ended up landing in a ditch. And then I had to go back and find my glasses because they were in the stream. And uh, it's gonna rain tomorrow and I think they would have washed away. <laughs> so everything's wet broken hopefully I can get the footage off of this um, my gimbal cam and then I had this hero five session pointed at me I don't know if it captured anything or not I can't get either one to power up at this point so hopefully things dry out the gimbals acting really funny I can say though that the breakaway um, the break the breakaway piece for the helmet mount uh, actually did work as designed there's the breakaway um, so that's the piece that it goes into. Hopefully I can just um, clasp that back in. But it, this light broke totally away from the helmet. Um, even broke away from the mount piece. So I think that's by design. So hopefully I can get that back together. But yeah. Um, shoes are totally wet. I feel like I got a Charlie horse on my uh, calf. And let's see what kind of damage we got on our legs here. Got some damage on the back of my leg there. Not too much. Just some scratches, some black marks from rubbing up against the tire. And then I feel like I got something on the side of my thigh here. Yep. And I feel like I got something a little bit higher as well. There's definitely something there. There's like a Charlie horse. And then I've got all of this scrapage down here on the left leg. And I think I'm okay on the left leg. I've definitely got something going on here, right there, and down there. It feels like, uh, I don't know, it feels kind of weird. I don't think I got uh, much damage on my elbows, um, although I didn't have my elbow pads on and I should have. Kids, always wear your pads. 
Glad I had the knee pads on because I landed in those rocks and that would have hurt big time. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween night. First time to the channel or if you've been back to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. Um, also click the thumbs up if you like the content. Share the links with your friends. All that kind of jazz. Um, click the bell for post notifications. You'll get updated when I uh, upload a new video. And you guys know what to do. Till next time, skill up and ride.